Hi, Liam. Hi, London. Hi, Isla. Hi, Gavin. Hi, Roman. I'm reading you a story today it's called Armadillo Rodeo. And I really like this story. And I really like this author. Her name is Jan Brett. And not only did she write the story, she drew all the pictures. And it takes her a whole year to write a story and draw all the pictures. She's a really good artist. And she's a pretty good storyteller. So let's find out about Armadillo Rodeo. It's about armadillos. Armadillos, that's armadillo. They live down south and they dig in the dirt. And they can't see very well. They don't have very good ears. But they have good, they don't have very good eyes, but they have good ears and they have good claws. They're very good diggers and they're very good sniffers too. Let's find out about armadillo rodeo. Armadillo Rodeo. Armadillos. One, two, three, bow! Let's go! Ma Armadillo called to her boys as they headed out to dig deep in the heart of Texas Hill Country. There's the three armadillos and there's Bo way behind. Stay close! Her boys didn't see too well, just like all armadillos, and she didn't want to lose them, especially Bo, who was always wandering off. One, two, three, Bo, don't go getting distracted on me. But Bo already was. He was looking at a lizard. Look, there's the mom and the three armadillos, and there's Bo, hanging behind, looking at the lizard. Curious as always, Bo followed the lizard down to the creek. Just as Harmony Jean came sliding down the bank from the curly H, wearing her brand new boots, pointy-toed, high-heeled, hand-tooled, chili pepper red boots with fancy cutwork, tall tops, and a curly H brand. She was there to scuff them up. Today was rodeo day and Harmony Jean was not about to ride in a barrel race looking like a tenderfoot in new boots. She found a muddy place and hopped and splashed until her boots had a worn, lived-in look. Pleased, she whooped and hollered, look at me, won't you just look at me? Bo's ears perked up at the sound of that pretty voice. He lifted his head and squinted. What he saw was all that red leather shimmering and prancing over the creek bed. Why, for sure, it looked to Bo as if he found a friend, a rip roaring, rootin' tootin', shiny red armadillo. Bo grinned. Howdy, he shouted. Harmony Jean, job done, lit off through the back 40 to the curly H. Bo never looked back. He blinked and squinted as he trundled after his bright red friend as far as he could go. Wait up, he called. Back at the creek, his mama twitched an ear. Is that hollering one of my boys, she asked. One, two, three. Oh no, Bo, he'd done it again. Look at them. I love these little pictures on the side. Here's the three brothers looking for Bo. And on this side is the mother climbing on a rock looking for Bo. Where's Bo? It's on the back of the horse. Bo arrived at the rodeo just as Harmony Jean was swinging a leg up on her pony, Spotlight. He saw the perky nose and the silvery tail of the red armadillo leaping up ahead of him. Wait for me, Bo called. When Spotlight felt Bo on his back, he gave a hopping buck and Harmony Jean stayed aboard, but Bo was tossed high in the air. The little armadillo landed in the dust. As he unrolled, he smiled, brushed himself off and shouted, hey partner, you're my kind of friend. Uh-oh. 
look at here's an armadillo looking at a fox hmm. Bo tried to catch sight of the rootin' tootin' red armadillo, but he had to move fast as he zigged and zagged across the arena. Ma Armadillo, with her three boys, was hot on his trail, asking everybody she'd met if they had seen her bow. Over here, she's asking the snake. And over here, the three brothers are asking the deer. And where's Bo? Look at him. He's under the legs of the clown, running away. Bo was still looking when he saw the armadillo headed for the barbecue. I'm right behind you, Bo called. In the meantime, they're asking the bear where Bo is. And over here, they're asking the rabbit where Bo is. And there's Bo, chasing after the armadillo. But before he could catch, the armadillo disappeared under the blue checked tablecloth. Bo dove after him and peered around. His friend was nibbling on something green. So Bo ambled over and took a big bite. It was a red, hot, bright green jalapeno pepper. His mouth on fire, Bo ran out and doused his head in lemonade to stop the burn. Delicious, he gulped. What's next? Chow time over. The cowhands got out their fiddles and everyone went into the barn for a little dancing. Bo struggled to see his pal. Finally, he spotted a flash of red right in the middle of all those stomping feet. Bo two-stepped towards his frisky new friend and cut in. Harmony Jean went tap, slide, tap with the red foot, then heel stomped, high kicked with her left, and Bo was hurled high up in the air. As he landed in the hayloft, he let out a rebel yell, Yahoo! Not far away, Ma Armadillo heard the commotion. That's my bow, she cried. By the time Bo made it down the hay chute, the dance floor was empty. Harmony Jean and her friends had settled around the campfire. She looked down at her boots. They were starting to pinch. She slipped them off and tossed them behind her. Bo bounded up to the pointy-toed, high-heeled, hand-tooled, chili pepper red boot. Howdy, he said. You're a mighty hard fellow to keep up with. My name's Bo. What's yours? His new friend didn't answer. Bo stepped even closer. He could see the perky nose and the shy smile. What's next, he asked. Uh-oh. But instead of answering, his friend fell over plop, and Bo was left looking down an opening. He stuck his head and sniffed. It didn't smell like an armadillo. He poked his nose against the leather. It didn't feel like an armadillo. He squinted up close. It didn't look like an armadillo. Nose in the air, he wailed, you're not an armadillo. Not far away, the sharp ears of his ma recognized the voice of her boy. His three brothers heard him too. Their search was over. There they are, climbing through the fence. Boys, let's go get Bo and head on home. Time to sleep, Bo, his ma said. We have to go out and dig tomorrow. Yes, Ma. But Bo's thinking about the curly H. He knows that whenever he wants a change, he can mosey on down for some red hot chili pepper excitement. And his Ma will always be there to bring him home.